This, this, this is a Tape Deck Podcast. Hello and welcome back to Will Run For. This is your host Tom and with me as always are Aaron. Hello. Michael. Hey, hello. And Diana. Hello. Indy is currently right where all of our recording cords are. So <laughs> yes. good Stay luck. Tuned. Love it. And Fun. he's got something in his mouth. What is always in your mouth? <laughs> I don't even oh my know. God. He's like, a, uh, he's like a toddler. And then he's going to uh, fight you on it and pull all these cords out. And this is going to be a whole thing. Well, we're back. We're back. We're yeah. back. Hello. Hello. Uh, I guess I'm going to start us out with the some quick sad news so we yeah. can get to the happy stuff. Yeah. Uh, I know that Tom, I'm pretty sure it was Tom, posted on our Instagram and Facebook page that uh, we lost a member of our Run Disney community uh, this past week. Um, and he wasn't as much a part of the Will Run For community, but as he was. Um, our just overall run Disney community. Uh, but Sam Gano, uh, he lost his life on a, in a plane crash. Um, he was, avid pilot. he was an avid pilot. He, he was a YouTube sensation. This is true. Uh, rebuild <laughs> rescue. Uh, he, in his, <laughs> his late life became a YouTube star. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which was awesome. Which when was that happened and hilarious. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> when he explained it to us yeah um i actually just recently talked about him because he was who walked me through uh the disney world half of a half and the disney world uh 16 miler that i did for marathon weekend uh he was a perfect dopey Mm -hmm. he did the most consistent 16 minute miles i've ever seen in my entire life wild because we walked with him a little bit when we did dopey um a couple years ago Mm -hmm. and whoo that's like like, tom level walking he's yeah Yeah. he's it's it's crazy he's um he's a good man we've talked about him a lot because i think we've told the origin story of how tom and diana and i met and it was at bird in hand and it was his house that i was going to the house in the woods that he loves to tell that story uh, about the cornfields and me wondering what the hell I was getting myself into going into a house full of strangers. Pennsylvania. (laughs) Uh, Uh, He was just a kind person. He opened his house to everyone regularly, not just runners. Um, He hosted people from like out of the country. He, he, he just, he didn't believe in locking his doors to his car, to his house, to anything. Um, he was just a really good human and, uh, it's a really sad loss. Yeah. It was a big part of all of us when we were team shenanigans crew. Mm-hmm. It's kind of, I think how most of us met him and I guess he was Mickey Milers before. Yeah. That, he was, Mickey yeah, Milers. he was definitely, he was definitely yeah. Mickey Milers before. So, yeah. And I met him at trails end the first time. Oh uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Not the time we were there, time before that. Not the time all four of us were there, I should say. The time before that. Yeah. Yeah. He used to always get, try and get everybody together for breakfast, marathon yes. weekend. Yep. The 10K breakfast. Yeah. Yep. Like massive. We're talking like 20, 30 people sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It's always a good time with Sam. Yeah. yeah. He actually texted me the morning Aaron was getting her operation. What was that? Three weeks ago? Four weeks? Four weeks ago now. And asked if I wanted, you know, if you... If I needed somebody to come sit with me or anything while I was waiting for her. And uh, it was very kind. Just very kind. Yeah. Sam, I mean, he was really the best of us. I can't say just, I just can't say enough good things about him and what he means to people and, you know, what he meant to us and, you know, always quick to smile and, you know, quick to laugh and. So what he meant to Tom was <laughs> that he, oh was, he was the Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> Which was hilarious when we, I remember telling him that story yeah. too. And he was like, oh my God, he was dying. Uh-huh. Was I called him the wrong name 
multiple times. <laughs> multiple times. And I think <laughs> for an entire weekend. But and, and and I mean the joke kept running because then Sam like embraced it and would come over and introduce himself as Raymond to Tom. <laughs> and it's very confusing. It's and very confusing just time. <laughs> messed with him. And then it would just confuse him more. <laughs> Tom's like, wait, wait, I thought I got this right and this then, time. Um, <laughs> and Tom's uh, response was, to be fair, all white people look alike to me. <laughs> they do. But oh it's like the people that think um, Michael and Tom are the same same person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you thought Diana and I looked alike from behind. So uh, that's true. when you touched her butt. Uh, that's mm-hmm. true. I did caress it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Lovingly. That's true. Felt intimate, but um, yeah. No, just uh, all of our best to Kenny and the kids and the grandkids and the extended family. And you know, it's uh, it was a shock when we heard. To yeah, say the least. yeah, it was definitely a shock. And and so we've we were all added to a um, like a giant text chain or or in uh, messenger chain. And people have been sharing pictures and and memories and everything. Mm -hmm. Like, the amount of people that he touched. Yeah, amazing. Incredible. All the pictures. And that's only in the running community, right? Mm -hmm. That's just, like, literally our tiny little community. But he did, like, skiing. He it's was like, on the school board for what, he was 25 the president years? of the school board for 20 years. Yeah, like, yeah, truly an yeah. incredible man. Um, they're gonna fill an auditorium for his mater- for his uh memorial service. Yeah. yeah, like just it can't be it can't be overstated how how much he meant to so many people. Yeah, so. I'm just glad we got to spend a decent amount of time. Uh, marathon weekend. Yeah, I will yeah. forever be really grateful for that time that I got with him. Yeah, that meant a lot. And shout out to Kenny for making us hot tub coffee. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Actually, Kenny, his wife, is the one who made us hot tub coffee after Frumpa completely screwed it up. After he totally screwed up the coffee maker. Yes, Kenny's the one that took mercy Kenny's on you like, guys. All right, I gotta take. I gotta. Yeah, she I was like, I this. can't deal with these two assholes anymore. I need to go make them coffee. Oh god, oh, that's so god, true. Yeah, I forgot it was Kenny. Oh my who actually god, made the yes, coffee. fantastic. Yeah, but um, yeah, we love you, Sam. And um, yeah, hard to segue out of that, yeah. but uh, but we had, we're going just, to. We just wanted to give a yeah. little a little we tribute. Too much yeah. To everyone. Do we have any other pieces of housekeeping we want to talk about? I don't think, I don't think so. so. Uh, did we? We didn't actually decide. Uh, did we pick a date for the for the? We thing? talked about several dates. I don't know okay. if we confirmed a date. But All right. stay tuned for an announcement on our <laughs> virtual live chat challenge. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, uh, one other podcasting thing. I do want to give a shout out to uh, Big Ass Runner. Uh, they started. Uh, Literally well, right when we like, did. Almost the exact same time as we did. Jeff Harrell uh, runs that show. Uh, he's stepping away from it um, after almost four years. Like we're almost four years. Also built like a really great community there. Super positive dude. Really fun show. I used to listen quite a bit, um, especially more when my podcast listening was pretty regular. It's less regular now. But uh, yeah, just super nice guy. I interact with him on social media some and stuff. Just just wonderful. And he, he really did a great show and, and re- like built a super positive, fun community over there. So just a nice. big shout out to him for all he accomplished with that. Nice. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Michael. What (laughs) do do we have any new five star reviews? I don't think so, but I did not check. But I'm 90% sure we don't. Yeah, we don't. Because I do get an email. So I don't think we (laughs) do. So, anyway, if you uh, would be so kind, that would be great. We would appreciate it. Uh, Five star review would be wonderful. Share the show with people. That's also wonderful. And we appreciate it all. Yes, very much so. Hey, what are we running for this week? <laughs> I'll go first. Because I'm going through an existential crisis. He had a little bit of a meltdown after his race Uh-oh. yesterday. Uh-oh. <laughs> it was awful. Existential crisis. Uh-oh. <laughs> Michael, I'm not training at all. <laughs> That's 
that was part of the meltdown. <laughs> like, at all. I'm literally just going to races oh, and surviving God. them enough to not get swept. That's tough. Yeah, that's tough. It's, uh, yeah. I, I got to find a different way. So I'm running for finding <laughs> purpose and joy again in running because right now I'm just flailing. Well, you're not going to yeah. find it in February, the worst of all months. That's true. Yeah, that's fair. Give yourself that's grace. <laughs> so, that's true. So the next real race we have coming up is um, the Annapolis 10K. Um, so my in, my entire aim in between now and then is to train and be prepared for that race. There you go. Excellent. That's it. Keep it's Keeping start. it very simple. Yeah. yeah. We've got a ton of races coming up. Yeah. Like in March, it's like every weekend we've got something. Have you been on the Peloton? No. It's, <laughs> it's right there. And I have nothing but free time. I'm like the Peloton king now. I know. He is. He's doing like 50 plus miles a week now. Uh, yeah. I, well, and you do a lot of like the scenic ones. I was like, I'm like, oh, what's Michael doing? Because I'll do like Tribe Called Quest or yeah. 90s hip hop. And I'm like, oh, what'd Michael do? And he's like, he rode through New Zealand or whatever it is. <laughs> I, it's because he watches TV yeah. while he's I uh, do because I'm usually riding. just doing a like a, a zone one or two ride. I'm not like doing anything uh crazy on it. So that that's it's, usually it's why. like someone told him he should ride easy so that he can keep his uh legs fresh for when he actually wants to do like harder runs. Oh yeah. That's and weird. that he actually listened to that person who told him that. I learned this on my own. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he learned it from anyone but me. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I am running to inspire my lovely wife. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can you please put some sort of no if like, anybody could sound see effect my face right now? <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, except that my face is not as awe as everyone else's. <laughs> well, well. I thought you were just Asian. I didn't know you were actually squinting. <laughs> Hashtag God. race report. God. Please keep, what is happening? Please keep that in. We're off the rails oh tonight. My God. <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to keep her motivated and keep mm. going. Like tomorrow she's going to ride. Oh, God. Help me. And all you people out there in the world listening. Bug her to do rides. Oh, I just pointed at you like you guys. Can Aaron, I'll do a ride with you tomorrow. Oh, Look at that. You got to inspire Tom now. Oh, and God. then when this drops in seven or eight days, everybody can, everybody can be like, hey, did you did you ride? And I can be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a, a Peloton run tomorrow morning. That's how I put my stack. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well. Okay, I guess I'm run riding, whatever you want to call it, for whatever I'm doing these days. I mean, I'm not really. We did go for a walk the other day. Uh, we did go for like a two mile walk. Um, my step goal is now what was that day? One thousand nine hundred steps. Man, that's the dream. That's isn't amazing. It? Can God. you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you did have surgery three and a half weeks ago, yes. and it was a hard recovery. <laughs> All right, like, my, but you do have to start moving. My favorite thing was like, she's like, I'm just gonna like wean myself off these pain meds like way too early. Like, it's not like, like three they days later into me or anything. <laughs> Whatever. Listen. <laughs> Look, they just ripped something out of my chest from my side. What could possibly be? How could this possibly be a problem? Listen, I've run like 70 miles before. I thought that it was like almost the, the same, same thing. thing. Yeah, it's almost the same. Almost the same. <laughs> almost the same. Whatever. Um, well, yesterday was my first ride in five weeks. Um, so I guess I'm running, riding, whatever you want to call it, to get back to some sort of movement and mm -hmm. pretending like I'm an athlete again. Yes, I like it. No, there you go. Yep, I think that's great. And I think, um, yeah, just little by little and give yourself grace. And you can even pretend that you're doing what I'm doing and just avoiding the outdoors in February because it's <laughs> awful out there and no one wants to be out there. So just say it's cold. <laughs> the one good thing for us, though, is that we can get out and walk around town to just like 
yeah. go get something to eat or yeah. things like that. So, like, we're at least mobile in that way. Yeah. And I think that at least helps us a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because on Sunday, it was like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'd woken up at 10 a.m. <laughs> and wanted to go back to sleep and then instead sit laid on the couch like a couch goblin. Mm. And at, like, 2.30, the sun was still shining, and I was like, oh, I've got to get out of this house. We've got yeah. to go for a walk. Yeah. And we did. So I finally made us get up and go for a walk. And we went and had uh, a quick bite to eat. And Good. Came back. It's annoying. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I don't know. I, th- I think we were messaging today. And I was like, I don't know. You're being way less of an asshole than I would be in this situation. Like, you're being very <laughs> nice to everyone. And... <laughs> Like handling it much better than I think most people would. (laughs) And I mean that because I would collect, I mean, I get a cold and just (laughs) basically act like I've got like Uh, rickets or something. Like I'm (laughs) I'm going down. (laughs) Oh my God. Uh, Well, everyone else had nice things. I actually, um, we just bought a ton of beer. (laughs) <laughs> Ooh, nice. I like so it. That's, that's nice. what I'm going to say. I'm running for um, the brewery. We mentioned them a bunch of times on this episode or on on the show over the last couple of years. But RAR Brewing, which is based out of Cambridge, Maryland, on the Eastern Shore, they just opened a location in Annapolis um, with food, and it's really nice. So we went. They did um, for their out of order sour series. Like I think a couple. I don't know, months ago, maybe a year or so ago, they did an Avengers release that we were talking about. Uh, This time they did a Harry Potter release. So they released like seven Harry Potter beers. Um, So we brought some of those home and then we brought some of, they did like a Wizard of Oz series Mm -hmm. and then a Batman series. So we brought all of these different sour beers home. They're just printing money. Um, oh man! Like it's crazy. So, so what do the labels look like? Can they use any of it? Like, uh, oh, do they say? So they don't say Harry Potter. So they have like, um, you know, like the slush puppy dog. I don't know if that's uh-huh. like a uniquely Maryland, Pennsylvania thing. Like slush puppies are kind of like icies, um, but they're more they're more ice than icies, which sounds weird. Um, yeah, no, I know what you mean. Like, um, so it's got like the slush puppy dog, and then they dress the dog up. Like whatever the character is. Uh, so oh. that's what all the labels look like. And hang on. I'm going to see like if they have like some of the names listed. Constant Vigilance was one. I'm a free elf. The dog who lived. That's cute. They were cute. You're a wizard Otis. Oh, Otis is the name of the dog. <laughs> um, Say My Name <laughs> was the um Slyther- Slytherin one with Voldemort <laughs> on it. Um. But yeah, they're cute. But most of them are like lactose. Like, so here, this is the one that's your wizard Otis. Uh, lactose based sour, conditioned over rum, suck, rum soaked blueberries, ice cream, and a dash of cinnamon. Um, one of them is a lactose sour, conditioned over peaches, raspberries, blood oranges, unicorn's blood, and pastry <laughs> cream. <laughs> so yeah, they're just oh, like at the, fruity sours. I- I'm looking at the labels. They're adorable. Yeah, they're really cute. Yeah. The only bad thing about them is they have to be refrigerated or they explode, which we have learned. That's a problem. We have learned the, the hard way. <laughs> learned the hard way. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think a lot of like local liquor liquor stores have them. So would you say that <laughs> not having a beer explode... <laughs> In your trunk. In your trunk due to Mm. it having lactose in it is a goal of yours. (laughs) (laughs) Michael's just going to cut that out anyway. Nope. No, he's going to leave that one in. That's gold. Leave it in. in. (laughs) Beer exploding in your trunk is a good one. It's a good euphemism. And now it's time for our Will Run 4 Goal Getters. Congrats on making your goals, you getters. You're the shit. I'll read the first few to make up for my terrible reading of those beers. Um, Laura Duxon, she says, I ran a hilly five miler yesterday. Uh, First 2.5 miles is an incline and then going downhill to the finish. 
really uh, proud of how my pacing went. Going downhill, it felt like flying. Last mile, I'm 8.50. Whew, she's flying. My right God. Now. She's getting really fast. Wow. Um, so surreal that I can run these paces. I got a four minute, 15 second PR. I ran the race in 47.47. Wow. Next month, uh, uh, the goal I've been working on towards October to get a 10 miler uh, proof of time. I saw the new proof of time for the half in Disneyland 230, but I'm still assuming the marathon proof of time will say 430. Um, if they change it back to five, I've got that covered. So, nice. Wow. Nice. Congratulations, Laura. We, it's It's been kind of a chaotic start to the year in general, but like... It's really cool that you're checking in and you're telling us these goals because this this is this is awesome. She's been so, so proud consistent this year. Like yeah. it's wild. Um, yeah. Let's see, Don, be joyful. Still excited that I completed that goofy challenge in January and that it was a marathon PR for me. Whoop, whoop. Wow. Um, only missed uh, one day for the ten thousand step goal. So trying to keep that up. People are still doing that, man. <laughs> um, training. So, so they don't have a 1,900 step foot goal. Who would have thought? Um, oh, nice. And she's training for springtime surprise, including strength training um, and putting that in the mix. Nice. Awesome. We'll see you at springtime. See you at springtime. All right. Eco. <laughs> Tom, do you, do you see what her name says? Uh, I did not do this, but I support it. It's Eco Swift. <laughs> all right um dopey was rough yes um and i'm back on my tuesday thursday training runs i've also hit my step goal every day of the year so far no taylor songs for me lots of races coming up in march and april so we'll see how this training cycle goes hoping for some more intentional miles this year too international miles oh international miles god i can't read tonight um, all right, Leah Miller. <clears throat> After a rough January, my goal is to get back into proper training for this for the two half marathons I have coming up in April and June and gear up for the Loopy Looper 24 hour in August. Nice. Seems far away, but I'm sure summer will be here before we know it. I just want to do the best I can to be consistent in my training and not get injured or sick. Speaking of Loopy Looper, uh, if anyone's interested in doing a um, um, a relay team, send us a message. I got one from Jack Witzig that said he'd be interested. Nice. Um, so Michael and I are really thinking about putting together a foursome for that. And if we have more interest in that, we can do multiple foursomes. For yeah. the <laughs> Michael just came back from feeding the cats and said, "Oh yeah, foursome, all the way." I'm I'm well, only going to do it if I'm in. I'm bullied into it, like I was for something else where I recently got bullied into it. And I'm trying to think of what the hell that was. Where well, it's like I'm not going to do it, and then it was like we need one extra person, and then it was me. The, the, <laughs> wasn't it the Bay Bridge? Oh well, yeah, it was the uh, Bay Bridge. Okay. Well, you know, we may have to bully you into it, depending on who we who we have and yep. what we get. Oh, so, God. Uh, since Leah and uh, Chiquita, Lisa are coming out here for their first twenty four hour races, yeah. we got to support them, guys. So let's uh, let's get a team together. Yeah. Anybody else wants to come out? Definitely. It'll, we're gonna make a fun time out of it. I'm yep. Gonna, I'm gonna throw a challenge out to Rise and Run. Uh oh. You guys put a you guys put a relay team together. And we'll, Ooh, we'll do a heads they up. They 25 oh. hosts. They got to be able to make a team. <laughs> <laughs> I, we, well, we, well, all have, too. we all have sure. credits on that podcast, too. I don't know why. Like, we're, we're, we're part <laughs> of We're that. also hosts on that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm actually Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. God. Oh. Poor Greg. <laughs> Um, I'll do a couple more. We've got Suze uh, running in the coastal race, o run Oak Island half marathon. Oh, in North Carolina on the 17th and kicking my 10th year of running half marathons. 
Mm. Wow. Um, and hopefully checking off NC um, on my run a half in all 50 states journey. Nice. Yeah, she's like, she was killing that last year. Yeah, really? I guess she's getting back to it. 17th of February, you think? Then actually, it's probably nice down there in February. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Right, <laughs> right on the coast. Probably yeah. a good time to run. Flat. Yeah. Um, and then uh, our friend is Sean Ferry. My goal is to remember to tell you about my mid-March goal at the end of this month. <laughs> Maybe I should just tell you now. <laughs> but then he didn't. <laughs> but his goal is... <laughs> just non-committal. Oh just oh, non-committal. I'm going to blame that on the jet lag God. because his job has just been sending him to the UK just randomly all year oh, for like, oh God. like yeah. weeks at a time, forth. just back and forth. <laughs> Oh, oh yep, God. Yep. And then um, here, I'll, I'll, I'll end us with, with my rundown of everybody um, with future marathoner Megan, <laughs> who says, I got a PR in fun at the Donna Half Marathon, stopped to pet all the doggos, danced to the YMCA, and just took it all in and enjoyed every step. That's awesome. lovely. Love to Love hear it. it. That looked Love like a it. great time. Shout out yeah. to, to Donna. I am. Um, I'm hoping to make it down there next year. I think that's going to be a goal of mine for next year. It's a good goal. Is to try and get down there for that. And um, I don't know. Melissa said that they pet like where I took pictures of 25 dogs or something like oh that. God. So I mean, it's like it's the race for me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, we got KP. How do you say her name? It's a double Fennin. N, right? So it's Fennin. Fennin. <laughs> it's we all Fennin. learned our grammar last episode. You double N. Of it. course, this is the way that the first person I get. <laughs> KP Fennin, ready to start putting in some post dopey or some, sorry, ready to start putting in some work post dopey. Time to get a coach and prep for the Shamrock Shuffle in March. Oh, nice. Jack Witzig. Uh, crazy happy to get a BQ in January after in the bed in my December <laughs> race. <laughs> uh, now I want to shave four more minutes off to get into the race itself. That'd be a three fourteen. Jesus Christ! I know. God. But Jack. the real goal is a three ten. Congratulations! I just wow. I can't. Yeah. That's just. That's awesome. Unreal. I, so I, fast. My brain can't even comprehend it. Uh, Susan R. Cole. Princess will be my first half. Oh, that's Yay! Awesome. Ooh, that's, you. that's amazing. I enjoy love it. it. Yep. I love yes. it. Make Princess sure is so fun. It. Yeah. Uh, Main Street Miles Meg complete ACS fundraising for springtime and run 30 minute. Tuesday and Thursday with long runs on Friday. There you go. Yes. Nice. Consistency. <laughs> yes. Uh, run, cat, cat, run to run. Oh, sorry. To PR on f fun during Princess Challenge in three weeks. Amen. PR on fun. Lots of princesses. Get that money's worth fun at Disney. Is, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. You're paying for it. Enjoy it. Yep. Uh, runcation dreaming. Focus on weight loss until Run Disney proof of time training starts in May. Amen. Yay! Two thirty proof of time. Down seven pounds. Whoop, whoop. Get it? That's awesome. Yeah, I will say that everyone's been very excited to see that uh, they announced the two thirty proof of time yeah, for uh, the yeah. Halloween race, and everyone's sort of assuming that I'll go back across the board. Uh, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would. Be yeah. Let's pretend I'm just dumb and don't know what that means. So, 2.30 means uh -huh. that that is the fastest time that you could put without having to prove it. Yeah. So, like, if you are going to put two, th if you're going to say that you can run faster than 2.30, then you have to have show a time. race that you've done to prove that you can run under two hours and 30 minutes. That's yeah. what I thought. And I've done this before. <laughs> 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 and then for um, those who also don't know, uh, you don't have to run a half marathon in order to give that proof of time. If you have to run yeah, a... Depends on what races. 
10K or a 10 miler or a half marathon for a Disney half marathon. And then for the marathon, we'll be kind of interested to see whether it goes back to the five hour proof of time, because then you have to submit a 10 miler, a half marathon or a marathon showing you can do whatever less than the proof of time that they're going to require. And it can't be a weird race because I always want to submit Charles Street 12 and it will not accept Charles Street 12. Yes. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, it has to be a 10, a half or a full for that. Yes. Um, Katie Chrysler getting strong AF by lifting three times a week. Oh, yeah. Amen. Gosh, yeah, God. sounds like Brianna. Yeah, she's killing it too. Uh, Heather Cohen says, My goal is to do well enough in PT that I can retire my power wheelchair. I know small goals this year, but honestly, probably harder than some big ones. Awesome. Yes, That's it's amazing. good to see her recovering well, fucking rough. Yep. yep. Uh, we got Valerie. I had my first speed workout of this cycle this weekend, and it went better than I expected. Looking forward to improving my speed and staying healthy and injury-free as I work towards the Boston Marathon start line. Yeah. What? That's incredible. Nice. Love it. Uh, Lisa Knits and Trains. I have a couple of firsts this month. On the tenth is my first race with one of my granddaughters. Oh, she awesome. is three. Oh, oh man. my gosh! That's amazing. The goal is to not have to carry her for any of the three k race. Oh, good luck with that. And yes, <laughs> and yes, we have matching outfits. Oh, oh my! God. I can't wait to see those pictures. It's going that's to be so be, cute. That's gonna be adorable. Uh, on the 18th is my first trail yes. race. Yes. Nice. Yep. Get in. My goal is to finish without being swept. And yes, I will. I'm wearing a skirt. Always. Exactly. Always. There you go. Love it. Very cool. Well, thank you everyone who sent in your goals. Um, uh, shout out to everyone who is brand new and sent in yeah. some goals because we saw some new names in there and we'd love to get to know you. Uh, better. Um, I don't know why I'm weird. <laughs> Do we want to talk about our goals for 2024? Sure. Yeah. I'm just thinking about how creepy you just sounded right there. <laughs> <laughs> We're four your, years goal, in. your goal for 2024 should be to sound less creepy. You're like, like we're four years over. in and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Fine. Uh, can I go first? You sure can. Oh yeah. boy. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Here's uh, here here's my go. goal. Don't die. That's good a good goal. one. It's a good goal. Solid goal. The end. I'm done, guys. All right. Solid goal. I mean, <laughs> it's a solid goal. Very good goal. <laughs> Sorry to be morbid, but it's kind of true. <laughs> it's fair. Yeah. Very fair. <laughs> How do we move on from that, guys? You can't. Diana, you go next. <laughs> uh, you can't. Let's see. I'm going to do speed work. Is that just as good? Yes. yes. <laughs> That's just as good as not dying. Okay. I'd also like to not die. <laughs> I mean, I fair. feel like this should be a goal for everyone here. So we can yeah. just put that across the board. The goal for the Will Run for podcast is to not die. Let's hope. Look, okay. Don't, put that, don't put that. put that like bad juju out into the air. Like it's. <laughs> I apologize for the juju. Right. Um, on a serious note. <laughs> on a serious note. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh my Listen, god! Dark humor is the only thing that I've got going for me at this point with this it's whole fair. thing. So you do have um, actual goals. Though, I do have actual to. goals. Yeah, yes, yeah. I, it's, it's yeah. a joke. Yes. It's all good, everyone. You can laugh about it. You're allowed. Okay. I'll go first. I'll, okay. I'll pull a Tom. Okay. I'll go first. There you go. Uh, let's see. Right now, I am training for absolutely no reason whatsoever. It's very weird, but I'm happy to be doing that. So I've kind of like, I think I've found this weird place where I don't care if I have a race or not. I just enjoy running and biking. Weird. I so know. I'm like that. in shock. Can, can you point me to that place? Because good <laughs> lord, that sounds magical. <laughs> like I don't even know when the next race is. I'll probably do Big Woods coming up in a few weeks. Uh, something like that. 
probably do i was looking for a half sometime in spring because i get a proof of time for next year so I, you know just like to knock one off somewhere um so i've been trying to work in a little bit of speed work to do that um you know other than that i don't really have any races on the calendar i don't think uh loopy we were talking about doing the uh what's that called the relay relay it's called a relay <laughs> <laughs> with team with people um and i'm just looking like locally for stuff because you know with everything going on it's just easier to stay local and i don't know there's not really anything on my radar so my goal is to like continue building for no reason whatsoever and maybe just do something one day on my own yeah really stupid like i don't know well you do a good go job of maintaining where i'm like oh What'd you run this morning? You're like, oh, I just did like a half marathon. Like, what the hell, Michael? Like, <laughs> I think that happened the other day. What I, I was like, I'm going out for a quick run, and it was like ten miles on Thursday or something. And then I thought I was running the marathon Saturday for Donna, and I was like, oh wait, that's Sunday. So then I rode twenty some miles on the Peloton Saturday, the day before wanting to run the marathon on Sunday because that was smart, but. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I don't know. I might do some longer, like, adventure runs around here and just pop them off whenever I feel like it or something. You know? Yeah. Well, you're still I doing like the it. city strides, too. Yeah. When the map works, I'm doing city strides. <laughs> the map was, so the map was glitching out on me this weekend. It wouldn't load in the, either of the browsers. Oh. And it kept, so, like, I couldn't, and I can usually pull it up and then pull up my location on it and the dot will go around the street. So like it won't fill them in, but mm. I can see which ones I've done and which ones I haven't prior to that day, not during that particular run. Yeah. So I can go through and, and knock off streets like as best I can. I'm almost done like all along our the road we live on down to Loopy Looper Park. <laughs> Loopy Looper Park. <laughs> That's the official name. Yeah, we'll call it Loopy Looper Park. <laughs> uh cooper river park um i'm almost done the entire one side of the road all the way down to there oh wow so it's pretty close that's a um, good goal is your yeah. do you have like a goal to get like a certain amount of the town done by a certain time or i have two towns that i'm around 60 percent on i have a couple towns I'm, I'm done our town that we live in i'm done the town one town next to us Haddon heights uh hadn't we live in Haddonfield. I'm done Haddon Heights. Haddon Township, I'm 60%. <laughs> because you got to have Haddon in every freaking name. Well, they were called the Haddons. They were called the Haddons at one oh. point. Um, after Elizabeth Haddon. Anyway. And in Collingswood, I have like 60% done as well, which is the town right next to uh, the park. Mm. Um, so, you know that parking lot at the park where all the action was happening, Tom? Yes. Oh, all the action. I, I do. Yes. So that is by Collingswood. <laughs> okay. We're all the action corner there. <laughs> oh my God. Where the, the cars were like banging. Oh my like, God. Boom, and like boom, 3 a.m. Boom, boom, boom. Like, oh, it's so crazy. God. I was like, man, there's people living right there. We've got uh, someone in our community that does that, has like the insane oh, base in no. their car. And oh. it's always at like 1130 at night. Oh, so annoying. It so is. annoying. I also, I don't understand how you can like, because it's loud for me and annoying for me not being in the car. Like, what does that sound like when I, you're in the car? I, I can't, can't imagine. even imagine. Awesome. Like, I get so overstimulated. Awesome. Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, if, if something's going on, down. yeah, I'm like, I'm turning it off if like I have to do something or I have to think. Yeah. I'm like, no, no sound. <laughs> I can't imagine what that's like. Uh, uh I would like to, I guess I'll probably have some goals later in the year, but I would like to do, try for 100 again this year. Oh. And get a bike and maybe do a century ride too. Oh. Those are like, you know, what depending on what kind of time we have and stuff like that kind of things. Well, but, you and Frumpa can get out there. He's all about that bike yeah, life. That's right. Mm -hmm. I don't know how well the Peloton translates to that. I mean, I can ride a bike, so like. No, right. It 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 translates pretty decently. Yeah, so I would just have to like actually ride outside at some point. I don't I mean, think I've been on a to, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, because you'd have to like learn shifting gears and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, I but, gotta like, get back to as that. As far again. as the yeah. actual like resistance and like those kinds of things of like, you know, hills and stuff like that, yeah. like you can like it's not ex- a precise, it's just but similar, it's still yeah. similar yeah. enough that especially for your butt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, r- right now I'm just hardening my taint and yeah. butt. Just harden yeah. the taint. Yeah. Tough the taint. In the taint. Oh, the... toughen the taint. Toughen, toughen the, the taint. taint. Sorry. I am getting, I'm doing like 90 minute rides pretty consistently. I, absolutely not. <laughs> TTT. <laughs> Meanwhile, I did my first 30 minute ride in five weeks and I was like, I'm back to square oh, one. You're probably oh, probably going to die. Oh, oh God. Awful. I'm like, what? Like, how did I lose my taint so quickly? No, it, it, uh. it's, it's, it's quicker than running because I didn't do the bike for like two weeks and then it hurt again. So, yeah, I was uh, mad. Yeah. I, don't know. I haven't been on a real bike in at least 20 years. And I mm. don't even think the last time I was on a real I think it was more of like a beach. What are they? The beachy bikes? What are they yeah, called? Oh, the, the cruisers. cruisers. Like the yeah. beach yeah, cruisers. The cruiser. Like where you don't yeah. have like any gears or anything. Like I can't tell yeah. you. Yeah. I mean, it's probably been. I haven't been done anything on a bike. About 13, 14 years since I've been on a bike. No, I, I have the my bike sitting downstairs. So if you get a road bike, we can road bike. Oh. Yeah. We should do that. Since you're not you running like, as much, we you can get bike like far. bike shorts and yeah, the you whole would need real bike shorts. The whole oh, thing. Do I? What do I have I'd to like... look like that though? I was yes. gonna say that's what I would like to see from both of you is those <laughs> skin tight like <laughs> oh, those, I have pictures of them. Those like douchey sunglasses that go like straight across. I have, I have, uh, I have pictures here. Uh, I'll uh, I'll send you a picture of me with them with the glasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I had to buy Asian fit ones. I had so here's a here's a story, right? <laughs> so I'm going out for my first group bike ride. I have like never met um, any of these people before in my entire life. I'm Mullica Hill Tri Club, and I walk up to this Asian girl, <laughs> and I'm like, "So I have a really weird question for you." She's like, "You want to know how, where I got my sunglasses?" I was like, "I do." She's <laughs> like, "They make Asian fit ones." <laughs> Literally, I'd never met this person in my entire life. Asian and fit, or did yes, they they're have literally a... called. Yeah, no, they're no, literally they're called Asian fit. Asian yeah. fit. Yep. Yeah. Race report. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so funny because I like walked up to her. I like didn't know her at all, and she's like pegged me the second I saw her. She's like, she's Asian. She's gonna ask me where I got my glasses from. <laughs> and sure enough, I was like, as a matter of fact, that is what I was gonna ask you. You know, I'm going to say it. Even though you're Asian, this feels problematic. Like, it feels <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> Asian no, fit glasses. It's a yes. thing. It's definitely they, a thing. And they're actually called, like, Asian yeah. fit. Yeah. Um, and now, because people are gotten more politically correct, they are now called low bridge glasses. But at that oh, time, they were definitely called Asian fit. That's yeah. that's what Warby Parker calls them, is low bridge fit yes. glasses. Yes. <laughs> Well, now you yep. know what that means. Now that the low bridge is uh, now what they're calling them. Now you know what it means. Oh, my God. Interesting. Okay. But five years ago, they were called Asian fit. <laughs> I feel like Asian fit's a pretty good description. Or East Asian fit, technically. Yeah, I mean, because not yeah. all. Yeah, exactly. Actually, it would be more East Asian fit. And it's really like low that. bridge, which is why they're the, the real, like, realistically, it's because of the low bridge. So. Yeah, that's more accurate. That is more accurate because yeah, that's fair. Not just only Asians have low bridge problems. All right, that's fair. All right, all right, we'll accept that. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone off the rails, guys. <laughs> We're completely off the rails tonight. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, Michael wants to bike. I have the the douchey glasses. Yeah, it's great. We can that's do it. That's where we are. I love it. That's I, where we are. I stand by that feedback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those are my very loose goals for okay. the year. Yep, cool. Well, I um I jotted some of my and I found it. I jotted some of my um goals for the year down, and you can tell when I wrote it because one of my goals was to go to the doctor for my hip. <laughs> oh. So done. I did that. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and he told me I need to stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Well, that's solved then. <laughs> that was that problem. <laughs> um, so I have just a couple of like loose, like wellness type goals for this year that that I jotted down. I've been trying to just kind of overall like disconnect a little bit more. Like I'm still kind of scrolling, but like I'm not like 
super actively in like chats or things like that. No, not for any particular reason. But if you're like, Diana has fallen off the face of the earth. I'm just like not responding to things. <laughs> I don't know if that's different than it was, but it's getting more aggressive now (laughs) where I'm just like, and I'm not, I'm just not there. So, um, just giving you guys a heads up there, but I have a couple of, um, yeah, just, I'd say like wellness goals. Um, and I can tell what mental state I was when I was writing some of these. So I'm just kind of smiling as I'm, I'm reading them. I and Aaron actually said this right as we were getting started. Like we stay up and by we I mean me. I stay up late and I've been sleeping kind of later than I want to sleep, so I want to start getting up a little bit earlier and working out before I log on. So, I really want to start incorporating um some good sleep habits. A good nighttime routine is on my goal for this this year, I just bought a whole nighttime skincare routine. Ooh. So like, I'm going to, I'm doing it. I'm going to <laughs> just put myself to bed like a little baby and not um, doom scroll until 2 a.m. is one of my goals uh, for this year. Um, I also want to start doing some meditation, um, you know, once or twice a day just to get my brain correct. Um, I've been talking to some of my uh, friends at work and they're kind of swearing by it. And I think it'll just put me in a good headspace. Um, drink more water is getting moved from last year to this year as possible goals. We'll see <laughs> if that happens. <laughs> we'll see if that actually happens. Um, I also uh, want to get our diet back under control. Um So I actually started today with, you know, kind of like the first Monday of the month. Um, We want to start doing some meal planning, um, just kind of like watching what we're eating to get into a healthier um, headspace. Um, I typically say like I don't have like weight loss goals and I really didn't last year. Um, I have let it get out of control and I have weight loss goals for this year, but I'm not communicating those. So those are for me and me only. (laughs) That makes sense. So I have kind of like a goal before springtime. And then um, I'm obviously turning 25 this summer. So like I have a trip that I want to do. So I have a goal before that. (laughs) And um, so, yes, I've got like some goals there. Um, and then just incorporating again, more strength training, uh, doing more than running. I kind of started this at kind of the middle of last year, but I'm enjoying it. So I want to make sure I'm continuing it this year where I have a good plan of not just running because I get burnt out from running really easily if that's all I'm doing. So I'm finding like alternating like the Peloton and um, running. And then I've been doing strength training and I've been building stacks in the Peloton app. Um, but also like giving myself some grace. So, um, I went to a boot camp on Saturday and they nearly killed me and I was sore until, I don't know, this morning. So I was going to get up and run this morning, but I switched it to doing the bike and I did a low impact ride this morning because I thought I was going to die. Um, (laughs) Because my legs hurt so bad. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm just trying to do some some different things. I think my goal going forward, I'm liking this boot camp. Um, so, I'm going to try and do that maybe every other Saturday and then do long runs um, on the opposite Saturday. Um, I really would like to go back to OTF, um, but student loans are back in repayment. So, the government's getting my money now instead of OTF. Um, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> thanks a lot. Uh, government, you just cancel those. I'd be, I'd be good with that. Um, so yeah, I think overall I just want to be in last year. I focused a lot on my mental health and I think I needed that. So now I'm in a better place to work on my physical health while I'm still working on my mental health. That makes sense. And they just, um, they just gave me more Adderall. So, huzzah. 
They just upped that. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so things are working. Um, I also, I don't know. Last year, I mean, I'm always like this, where I always feel like I have to be on the go, and I feel like almost guilty when I, I'm just rotting on the couch. And this year, I want to let myself rot on the couch more. Mm, like when yeah. I face things are in and out for the year, like I'm going to be in this year, like inside. You need to rotting on a couch because I don't let myself relax very well. You need to be a homeboy. Like I, <laughs> are you more of a homeboy? Be more or... of a homeboy. Um, because <laughs> I'm always, and even like when I'm home, like I cannot just sit and let myself that, just be. That's very true. I like I need to just let myself be more. So I'm gonna try and give myself some grace to do that. Not become just like a complete like I'm just living on the couch, but like me, let, like a couch let myself. Goblin? Like I'm a cow. Like I would love to be a couch goblin. <laughs> That's me. I'm a couch goblin. Yeah. You need an ollie. <laughs> yeah. He comes in. He'll sleep on you for twenty five hours a day. It's true. Somehow. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's true. Well, Indy will do that, but I'm too wiggly. I can't. It's. <laughs> yeah, and I've got Indy's like bigger. restless legs yeah. syndrome. Indy's bigger. Like That's Ollie, called, yeah. Or you have what's called ADHD. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, like they fair. don't sit. That's true. I can't. That's it's, the it's fidgeting ve- thing is definitely an ADHD it's thing. It's very hard for me to like sit still. I can sit still as long as I'm on my phone scrolling or playing a game or doing something like mindless. Like I play like popping bubbles and stuff like that on my phone. Oh. Like I can't like, I, yeah, like if I have like a game on my phone, like I can sit still and watch the TV. But like I can't I can't do one thing. Yeah, I'm kind of the same. way. But even if I'm like scrolling on my phone. Like, I can never get, like, I feel like I'm never comfortable. Like, I'm always, like, shifting where I'm sitting and, like, well, you guys yeah. see it, like, while we're recording. Like, I'm moving, yeah. like, all over the place. Yeah. Like, yeah. I. That, that That's your ADHD. I just. <laughs> it's it's a problem. And it would have been nice if I had known this. Yeah. 30 years ago. Like, I just. Who would have thought? <laughs> um, so, yeah. Last year, mental health. This year, physical health. Um, I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to try and make my clothes fit again. That's the goal. Nice. I like it. <laughs> Did I go? No. No. <laughs> I mean. No, I just pulled you into like everything I'm doing. No, you're it's fine. your problem you're now. Fine. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I guess my goals are very similar to why I'm running. I got to, I got to, I got to just refocus and, and find some sort of consistency and, and and routine and joy in the just the 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 running without a race kind of situation you know um so i'm kind of cherry picking from a, a bunch of our goals because i too would also like not to die this year but <laughs> um i mean you did go back to your aggressive doctor today i did and oh, the, my yeah. blood pressure has improved greatly whoop, whoop. yeah i saw that you've been posting that I've um I've cut out a lot of the sugary sugary s- sodas. Cool. Um I've cut out all of my Dunkin. Um yeah, and if I, if I was just working out and and doing that sort of thing, I'd be much better, but um medicine is awesome. Modern medicine is amazing. So that's really helped me get my blood pressure under control and I'm going to continue to work on it. I need to lose some weight. Um, we have a ton of races and I don't want those races to feel terrible. Um, so that's my motivation to actually train and get consistency out of training and, you know, all good, all good things. I am contemplating doing the great saunter again. Um, I'm contemplating. I don't know why I'm using that word. I'm thinking about um, doing Loopy Looper again. It's By just, yourself or as a? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to. Really? We'll have to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> I can't imagine me and Jack Witzig on the same relay team. He's going to be like. I mean, he'll enjoy because he'll get lots of breaks. He'll get and then you'll so get much no breaks. breaks. <laughs> so many breaks. <laughs> 
But anyways, so yeah, I just, I got a lot of work to do and um, I'm not going to overwhelm myself. I'm going to take every day as it comes. I just got to string together some consistency. So that is my overall goal is a level of consistency that I do not have right now. Nice. The end. The end. I like it. Consistency is very tough. It's really yeah. hard. I recently bought a new car. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then oh, yeah. we took all the Christmas decorations down and we had a little bit of snow. So like like there's there's stuff that I need to vacuum in my car, right? Um and like I had a meltdown. Yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yes. It where was... I was like, I I hate this. I I just need to get it detailed or just get rid of the car altogether. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm worthless. Look at how I'm taking care of this brand new thing. It's so expensive. I hate it. I just want to get rid of it. And Diana's like, why don't you just run it through a car wash? And I'm like, <laughs> no. I want to be depressed and and. Talking absolutes and just be like the worst. Well, he got God. mad because he was like, I think I gotta take this car in and get it detailed. And I was like, Well, it's like six weeks old. Can't you just take it to the car wash and vacuum it and then get it detailed like in the spring after all the snow and yeah. slush is done? Yeah. And then he got like mad at me for saying that. I was like, What is going on? <laughs> it was other things that showed up as that. So oh I yeah, it's like what do you just throw uh, the car away? Just throw all or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just get rid of it now. And, um, like when he bought the take car, take it to the junkyard. Like they gave him like this whole like toolbox of just like like he doesn't have to buy anything. It's all these like cleaners and all this stuff for like uh, the yeah, leather yeah. and all this like really nice. I was like, well, have you even like opened that and seen what's in it and just go out there and like play some music and like. You know, wipe everything down. No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Tom. Yeah. Um, all right. So I do have some actual goals. I mean, okay. like, you know, but besides Realize? besides yeah. like, you know, the Living. staying alive yeah. thing. Um, <laughs> um, but no, really, my goal is to it's really just a simple goal. It's really only one goal. And it's to like consistently move again it's consistency is the key it's a little harder for me right now to find motivation one i'm very tired all the time um i will say that chemo is dumb um so i'm yeah. tired a lot um but i need to just move i need to make intentional progress with just whether it's like 20 minutes of yoga or like going for a two mile walk or uh, my eventual goal is to actually start running again, mm. but I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. Yeah. So I'm not even really sure when or if that's going to be a possibility um, as far as like, you know, when the tumor starts shrinking enough for me to not feel it. Um, but in the meantime, I just need to focus on making sure that I am still moving my body in some way because mm. it is shown that, you know, exercising is good for you even with cancer. So I would like to make sure that I'm doing a two mile walk, a 30 minute bike ride, just I, like, I, I'm not even talking about having a crazy goal of like, you know, 60 mile bike ride weeks uh, uh, right now. Like I just, I need to get back to making sure that at least three to five days a week yeah. I am I'm actively doing something with my body. A little yeah. strength training now that you're healing up. So it's it's a very small goal for the year. Uh but small goals is all I can can handle right now. I would like to be able to walk all of springtime surprise if I can make that happen still. Um, it does seem like I will be able to make that trip. Um, I've talked to the doctors and they are encouraging me to still travel. Uh, you know, I got to do things a little bit more cautiously, you know, making sure I'm masking places, not yeah. in huge crowds. And if I am like in the crowds and stuff, you'll probably see me with a mask um, and things like that. But yeah, I mean, 
I don't know. I walked 16 miles. I think I can walk 10 miles if I get some actual walk training on the treadmill in. Yeah. And nice. plus if you're pelotoning consistently. And stuff yeah. Like that. And then you can start your strength and yoga training again. Yeah. That you had to kind of stop because of the uh, recovery from the thing. Yeah. Procedure, so. so, I mean, small goals for this year. No big yep. races. No big anything uh, on the calendar um, other than springtime. And uh, I, uh, as much as I don't want to say this, like it's Disney races from to me are a little different than like, you know, it's not like running the New York City Marathon. I treat them just slightly differently. Mm -hmm. And I think that having walked 16 minute miles at marathon weekend, it's something that I could build myself back up to pretty easily um, with a little consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the key. Well, yeah. And because the Disney races, it's not that they're less significant or anything like that. They are just more flexible for people that need to be able to walk and yeah you know they've yeah. got a more generous timeline and you know it's just all of that comes into to a disney race i would say they're so. more welcoming for yeah it too, honestly yeah agreed yeah yes yes yeah so nice and simple yeah good goals for Very everyone good goals will you be inspired watching me stay consistent and be awesome in front of you that's what you're running for so i suppose so <laughs> are you gonna be in awe of me i will be in awe of you and you're (laughs) quitting running the donna virtual marathon at 21 miles it wasn't for our heater i wouldn't have quit (laughs) oh god when you see him like go out and do stuff does it like motivate you to like go out and run with him because if Tom's like, all right, I'm going to go like get on the bike or go out for a run. I'm like, ooh, like what trash can I watch on TV while he's out doing that? <laughs> I'm not like, ooh, I'm going to jump up and join him. I'm like, yes, I can just be a trash <laughs> goblin on the couch. Like I. <laughs> uh, well, right now, yeah. I mean, everything is all about being as trash goblinly as I can and watching um all of the teen dramas that I possibly can watch. Yep. In the world at this point. See, I was having a conversation with uh, Amy Chase the other day that was like, I thought that the older I get, the more I'd grow out of like the, the YA like things. No. But I feel like the older I get, the more I want the YA. <laughs> That's all I want. That's all I want. That's all I want. (laughs) Do you think you could be ready to walk 35 miles by the beginning of May? Oh, God. (laughs) It's possible. I don't know. I mean, I guess if I started walking on the treadmill every day right now, probably. That's a goal. Mm. Great saunter. It's a nightmare. (laughs) I know. I was almost like, do I want to do it? And then I thought about me as a human, and I just don't know. I don't know. Do we want to talk about races? Yeah. Sure, we got two small ones. I'll go first. <laughs> before we um, before we get started with Tom's I'll go first, um, Tom, did you get some trail shoes? I did. Did you wear them at all? Before your race yesterday, I put brand new speed goats on before I went out for my oh, 10K. I'm okay with that. Michael. He was not okay with it. They, <laughs> they hurt so bad. <laughs> really? Like, just because they're not broken in at all, like at all. They and he's like not used to trail shoes at all. So, uh, you know? yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. That's they, fair. They're the high tops and they yeah. protected my ankles and yeah. I was fine with it. I could see them doing very well at like a like a rock in the knob, and this was a lot less technical than that. A yeah, lot well, less yeah, technical. that's pretty technical. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so I put on brand new shoes. Um, I was dressed fine for the weather. The weather actually turned out to be very nice. It's a it's a ten k or a half marathon. Um, I did the ten k. I saw Jen Hall in the corral. I was like, hey, I'm going to go real slow. And she's like, I'll just say hi when I catch you. And then she caught me and stuck with me. Um, It's about a thousand runners. They let crowds off every three minutes. Um, 
very well run race. It's mm-hmm. run by a company called Rip It Events. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a good course. Um, it's it's a mixture of you know gravel trail and then actual trail trail. Um, a few hills, nothing crazy by any means. A lot of really runnable parts. People were people were hauling butt through there. Like oh really? Yeah, like you could really run this one. Um, it does but, sell out very fast because I looked at it and yeah. I was like, oh, it's sold out. It's like. <laughs> 10 minutes from our house. Yeah. It's so close. Um, it's so close. I was like, oh, the weather's good. I should go run that. And I was like, oh, well, I'm not running it because there's nothing available. Yeah. <laughs> it was It was a really good race. I just was completely unprepared for it. I had not trained in the slightest, as I've said. <laughs> um, and I was sucking wind immediately. Oh, um, God. Which was just, just kind of, you know put a nice period on a long sentence of me being lazy. So <laughs> it was a, it was a fairly good wake up call that I kind of knew about. Um, but you know, I, I didn't die on the course and I made it back and they have, you know, they, they have nice swag. They got a, you got, you got gloves, you got a shirt, you got a nice medal. Yeah. Um, I would definitely Uh-oh. do the, I would definitely do the race again. It's a really nice cool. race. And I would highly recommend it. Yeah. I said, um, I kind of asked him, like, maybe we can, because you'll kind of remember where it was. Maybe next time we go for a run over it, because we run over there all the time. Oh, like, okay. Walk me through, like, where it is and see if I could do it. I mean, I had definitely have to wear my brace, but if it's not, like, too treacherous. It was, yeah, if it's a pretty smooth trail. Yeah. yeah. It was no no more treacherous than when we went hiking with you guys and Baltimore on and Jeremy. Oh, um, at uh yeah, Susquehanna. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. similar to that. Maybe a, maybe a little bit of lo- more loose rock on the hills, but that's it. Mm. Nothing crazy. Yeah, maybe we can try maybe try and walk it and then see. Yeah, test it out. Yeah. But if it's cold, I mean, the problem is you had like such perfect weather this year and I'll sign up oh, and God, it'll be it was so and it'll perfect. be a, yeah. it'll be a hellscape like it'll yeah. be <laughs> It'll like, be 35 and raining. Yeah, yeah. it'll be. <laughs> <laughs> and muddy. Oh, God. Yeah, because it was perfect out on Saturday, really. Like, yep. like 45, 50 degrees and bright sun. It yeah. was, like, really nice. Yep. And, and if you want to know what kind of cliff we fell off in terms of timing, like, my first mile was, like, a 1230. And then my fourth mile was, like, an 1810. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly it went downhill very very quickly oh man but hey we're all here we live to run another day so yeah. that was the race yeah <laughs> yep uh, let's see my race was virtual i did the virtual donna almost marathon where <laughs> as we saw on social media i quit to Why? be fair well so the night before, we're sitting on the couch, and I'm like, oh, it's, it's really chilly in here. I'm like, that's weird. We look. The temperature is like six degrees colder than it's supposed to be. I'm like, huh. Go down and check the heater. Heater's not coming on. It's blowing out air. It's not blowing out hot air. I'm like, oh, boy, here we go. So I'm fiddling around with it. We call the service. Oh, Thank boy, you. here we go is not what happened That's, at all. <laughs> maybe not In what case I said. <laughs> about what actually came out of his mouth. Oh, boy, here we go in this calm manner <laughs> is not at all the vibe that came from this man. That's weird. <laughs> Just for the record. Anyway, I started troubleshooting. Like, I'm not an HVAC mechanic. I have enough mechanical skills where I can do basic troubleshooting. Regardless, thankfully, we called and uh, the service was close by and they came right out. Um, and after a little bit narrowing things down, he's like, oh, it looks like your thermostat's bad. And our thermostat's a year and a half old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I'm like, crap. He's like, yeah, we can replace it for like $600. And I'm like, $580 for a thermostat. thermostat. It'll take me like five minutes to put one on. I'm like, no. We looked in, like, Home Depot was still open. So I'm like, "Ah." I'm like, nah, that's all right. I'll just go run and get one at Home Depot. So I go over there. I get like, all. it's almost, it's like 9.30. They're getting ready to close. 
all like the thermometer we have is is like you know one of the smart ones so of course it's locked up somewhere and i would have had to get somebody to go get it Ugh. and i'm like all right i can't do that i'm like i'm gonna buy this cheap stupid manual one and just throw it on the wall and it'll work for tonight whatever and aaron ordered one to get delivered the next day I'm like cool put that on the thing's so cheap it's like hard to hook the it's just you know so eventually we get to bed at like 11 o'clock. It was working. I wake up in the morning. It's freezing in the house. It has never come on all night. <laughs> and I'm like, ah. So spend an hour or so that morning getting the heater running again. And it gets going and <laughs> apparently kept running after yeah, I had left the house. Yeah, because then he left the house and it never <laughs> went off. And I woke up and it was like 800 degrees in our <laughs> house. Sweating. It was like literally... <laughs> It because by the time this, we got the new thermostat oh, yeah. put on, it was like seventy eight in our house. So it had to have gone hours. Up, that was hours. <laughs> so it had to have gone up to like eighty something in our house by the time like the heater had been running for hours. And there's on the an, second floor, it must have been eighty five degrees. There's so nothing hot. worse than waking up and you're just hot and confused. I was like, <laughs> like it's the so, worst feeling. Yes, I was like, what is happening? Why he said it still wasn't working? Why is it? Why am I sweating? And why is it so hot? <laughs> now it wasn't working the other way because it was this cheap ass thermostat that didn't work right anyway regardless so i went to bed way later than i planned i didn't get anything together for the next day to run the marathon around town the next morning i ended up getting out of the house way later than i planned because the stupid heater didn't work right so i finally get out the door after like eight o'clock and i'm like all right I'll start now so i you know i was going i was fine and then i'm like oh my god I'm like it's gonna be like one o'clock and i still gotta put that other thermostat on and I got to make sure it works right. And then what if it doesn't work right? Then I'm going to have all this other stuff to do. So I was like, all right. So I, it got to noon and I was like, I, I just got to stop. I'm done. So, so I was quit. like, yeah, I was like, I'm going to stop at 21 and just run. He to quit the, house. the race that yeah. was dedicated to me. I did. I was concerned for your well-being and keeping you warm. He's <laughs> <laughs> like a good guy. <laughs> Because I was like, well, what if it's not the thermostat? Because at that point, I wasn't sure because that's the one I bought wasn't working right. So this is a great race report, by the way. This is more HVAC <laughs> report. But regardless, <laughs> anyway, so we get the new thermostat, the new, new thermostat on, and everything's good. So there is that. So I quit at 21 miles. I had a nice run. I hit off, knocked off some streets on City Strides. Uh, I did a, like two loops at Loopy Looper Course over there at Cooper River Park. Because I have not run that enough this year between Frosty and Loopy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I've definitely not not seen that loop enough. Technically, <laughs> you haven't done it this year. So oh, that's there's fair. that. That was last year. See, I'm starting off the year right. See, there you go. Uh, I did knock off some city stride streets. I ran around. It was nice. It was nice weather. It was chilly in the morning when I started, mm -hmm. but it was nice out. Um, but yeah, I got way, started way late. I wanted to start around 6 so I could be done at a reasonable hour. Yeah. And it was eight something. And I'm like, oh, come on. Yeah. The more it leaks into the day, the more likely I'm, you know, I'm going to just get yeah. off. So I'm, and I'm like, I, I just I want to get back to the house. I want to do stuff there. It's like, you know, I just I had to. It just is what it is. But I, I ran technically. I was on the run, eat, drink team. So I ran on their team uh, as part of Donna Marathon. Nice. Uh, and also thanks to everybody else who ran. That was very nice. Who else ran? Not the virtual, but the real one. Oh, Sarah, Marsha, and uh, Melissa. Oh, I think. And I then called, Megan. Oh my gosh, I think I called Sarah Violet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was on my story. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> Sorry, Violet. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Raymond, Sam, Violet, Whatever. Sarah. It's all the same. Don't Everyone's bring it up. Don't bring it up. <laughs> the whites, they all look alike. The whites, they all look alike. True. Everyday whites. It's fine. Um, yeah, Megan was down there. Uh, her friend Kelly and Avi that we met at the... Oh, yeah. Because yeah. uh, Kelly is a breast cancer survivor now. Yep. We met her at the wedding, right? Yes. Or them at the wedding. I yes. should say both of them. Uh-huh. Um, and I'm sure that there were other people that were there that I don't know about offhand mm -hmm. but yes but yeah so i did my part in not finishing the virtual marathon and quitting and getting called out at home yep 
Mm-hmm. All right. So let's wrap up with something good. Sounds good. Can I go first? Yes. Sure. I thought of another one when I wrote what I wrote, but I'm calling this Taylor Critical Mass because, good Lord, it's way, way, way too much Taylor Swift these days mm. um, in every facet. Hot and take. I'm a huge fan. And it's just going to continue into next year because more touring, more music, a brand new album that she announced at the Grammys. Um, a wedding. A, no wedding. She's not going to marry Travis Kelsey. At no, least. I've also got hot takes about that. Slip into the DMs if you want to talk about that. <laughs> um, it's just... A baby. It, it's It's so much Taylor. Man, like, it's just, you can't get away from it. Not that I'm trying to get away from it, but I will admit it is a lot of one person. That being said, my real something good is if you watch the Grammys, Tracy Chapman and Luke Combs per- mm. performed mm-hmm. um, Fast Car. Yes. yes. And Tracy Chapman's voice has held up. She sounded incredibly. so good. Incredibly. Um, that was one of the best live performances on the Grammys that I've ever seen. I actually that, didn't know the Grammys happened until I saw that on TikTok this morning. It was so good. Anyways, that's my something good. That's a something really good. I agree. Yeah. Tracy Chapman's amazing. I uh, I especially appreciate it that he did the song. He covered the song because of how much he loved the song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it wasn't like something somebody just brought to him. It was something that really meant something to him. And you could tell when they were performing how much it meant to both of them. Yeah. Well, I started reading Fairy Smut, so um, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I was I'm wondering doing. what this acronym is. Yeah, so um, it's the, what is it, A Court of Thorn and Roses is what I just oh, started. Oh, I've heard of that. I've heard of that, um, yeah. I'm about halfway through the first book. It's pretty good. It's getting off to a slow start. It's not smutty yet but I'm told it's going to get there and it's a whole series. <laughs> so it feels a little like beauty and the beast right now. Like she's a human. He's a fairy. There's a crime. Now she's got to go stay in the castle. They are making it's a, a show thing. out of it, right? I have no idea. Um, I found it on book talk. Um, and the last time book talk recommended something to me, um, we got the baby Dory. God, that was the, might have been one of the worst things I've ever read. Um, so we'll see how this treats me. <laughs> I think that it's being I I think I think it's gonna be a TV show. Well, I wonder I hope it's gonna be like Bridgerton. I think Shonda <laughs> Rhimes is gonna do it. I'm I'm not sure. I'll we'll have to Google it, but I somebody Google. Um sure. but yeah, I'm I'm almost halfway through the first book. Um I don't I'm not a good reader in the winter. I'm better in the summer when I can like sit on the porch or like be by the pool and like read. So um, we'll see how I do. There's apparently it's kind of like Harry Potter where they just get thicker and thicker. So and I think there's four or five of them. (laughs) (laughs) Pun intended. Harry Potter gets thicker and thicker. It, It does. It does. So if anyone's read and wants to chat about it, I like want to talk to somebody about it. And yeah, the ma- creator of Outlander and Sarah, uh, is it Moss herself? Mm, there you go. Well, Outlander is very smutty. So yeah, that's a smutty yeah. show, right? Yeah. So that's that's who. Mutt. <laughs> um, am I going? Oh, I sure. want. I forgot what I was gonna do, but now I just remembered. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um. <laughs> Michael's giving me looks. Um, I'm going to shout out um, a clothing brand called Handful. Uh, they're a sp- athletic company. Uh, they also have like joggers and like sweatpants and that kind of thing. But it's a sports bra company created the- by um, a woman who um, is a breast cancer survivor. Uh, mm-hmm. They actually had a a video last week that they are struggling to keep their lights on right now. Um, and asked customers who haven't bought a bra in a long time to come back to the company. Um, and I shouted them out yesterday in my Instagram story or in my Instagram post. Um, 
they uh, support women with breast cancer. Um, they give lifetime 30% off discounts to women who are survivors and or going through breast cancer currently. Uh, um, they have right now a, the bra that I've been using is like a front closure because I can't pull sports bras over the top of my head right now mm. uh, easily. So I have to do all front closure sports bras. Uh, but it's a great company. It's a small business. And I highly encourage anybody out there who wears a sports bra to uh, check them out um, and help a struggling small business, especially one that, um, you know, supports a cause that is clearly close to my heart at this point. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great call out. What's the name of the company again? It's called Handful. Handful. Okay. Yes. Um, I guess I'm going to bookend the episode and say something good is all of our running. Hmm. Aww. Now you sound like me. Yeah, see, I'm <laughs> actually the sentimental one on the show. In case sure. you guys we always know knew that. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the friends we make along the way, you know. That's what matters. Yeah, sure. and I think Very in times sure. like this, when you lose a member of the community, it really reminds you of that. Even more so. Yeah, the times, the running, the whatever, paces, all that kind of stuff. I mean, I don't know. That is what it is, but it's not really what keeps us going. Yeah. Good, good point. Um, I just saw a comment from one of our listeners. Jessica Grand says, I miss my goal getters post. My next goal is to see and comment on the goal getters post before you record. That's a good goal. So, <laughs> good goal. I mean, That's now she goal. got that one in. Good so, goal. there you go, Jessica. Yes. I got gotcha. you. It's been a while since you've been on there. It's a good goal. <laughs> <laughs> we will remind you next time. Specifically, we will actually tag, tag her, her and remind her. <laughs> I was trying to find a quote because I hadn't even prepared anything. Another day, another ski race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? Another day, another race. Another day, another ski race from Sam Gano. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Shout out to all of our running friends. And um, yeah, big things in 2024. We will talk to you later. Bye. 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 Bye.